Yes, and as our young MC uh, referee, Georgie Noble, steps onto the hockey, we'll go through the practice routine of these two young ladies. We've got Sharon Colcliffe against Dieter Edmund. Dieter, the number two seed, just asking a few questions. And this young lady, well, what a year she's been having as well. She's the reigning champion and looking to retain a title, but she knows who she's facing in the final. Stacey Bromberg, what a player we've seen there. <coughs> Sharon, another England player, as I say, an all-England affair. Have the six practice starts and then in for real. Best of five legs. And always a smile from Dita. Was entering on Thursday night. Uh, she played in the Embassy World Championship and took two of the world's top players out, getting to the third round. First leg, Sharon, throw first. Game on. First leg, Sharon Throy. Forty-one. This is a lady that can beat the men. Dita from Witham, Essex. Sixty. And Sharon not so far away. Lives in Middlesex, Hayes, to be precise. bit tentative these two well, there we are there's the uh, bogles bangles and a few beads 140 so Dita down to 301 124 points behind is Sharon yeah, great respect to uh, the players, whereas normally full houses are shouting, standing and cheering. The players and supporters from around the world like to take in the action. 60. Giving the players the best of order. Playing 15 years of Sharon. 140. So I pulled back a bit there and gone into the lead by 41 points. 100. Down to a finish of 141, Dita. Just to remind you, we are live here on live TV. And this is the best of five legs. Our ladies semi finals. 141. Treble 20 leaves 81. 136 after that dance. She won't be happy with those. Down below. 67. Yeah, it's a good cover shot. Sharon, you require 100. For the first leg, treble 20 double top. 80 left. Single 20 now, hopefully she may get a shot at double top. 60. Thank you, everyone. 74. That's treble 14 for the first start. It's 33 scored, so 41 left, maybe single 9. Yeah, it's double 16 coming in. Just checking herself, making certain. 58. Sharon, you require 40. So to take the first leg, it's Sharon Coldclough. Great opportunity. Three darts, double top. Double ten. Double five. One or two nerves in the fingertips. Game shot. And a first leg. Sharon Coldclough. So a good leg there from Sharon. Second leg, Dita. Pro first. Game on. Trailing by one leg. Must now be the favourite, Dieter. 41. There's the seating position there. 
But now Sharon leans well forward. One hundred and forty. Yes, and taking that first leg through a bit of confidence. Over six foot is D10 and the one that leans well forward. Good throwing action. 64. And they'll be all taking the scores, averages, they do the lot. Taken back to the countries they come from. 70. Some of the action we saw last night with the men and the youth. 100. Really something to cherish. 80 here, a brother, Al Edmund, British Open champion. 121. There was a few trophies in that house. 100. Full-time professional, these ladies. Uh, her occupation is a joinery assembler. 81. Sharon, you 161. 161. Look how far Sharon stands at the hockey. Seven foot nine and a quarter is the throwing distance. 943. Do with another one of those. 140. Well, we've just seen a Can score there of 140, but we must take a short break. We'll be back with the action. Straight up. Welcome back, and uh, it's uh, the world's number two, D. Treadman, struggling, as you can see, 2 nil down. Best of five, Sharon Colclough. Certainly the underdog in this match. 75. 2-2-1. Two, two, Seen some pretty young ladies here. Two two one. Dita needs one nine two, so a good chance here for Sharon. Eighty three. Well, it puts her on a finish. Hundred and thirty eight. Still one nine two. Well, yes, careful of everything. But this is it. 138. Took a world championship, that score. Keith Deller, 1983. Coming down. 54. Safety required, 52. 20 double 16. No, she prefers double top, and that's what she's going for. Yes. Well, that could be a turning point in this match. Taking that leg. Game on. Give her a lot more confidence now. One hundred. Very short format. Five legs. There's Per Scow and his lovely young girlfriend there. Per, one of the slowest players in the business. Could take four hours for one match. 140. Sharon struggling in this leg, so it could be going all the way. Leading 2-0. Had an opportunity 30. of taking the match on a 138 finish. But it's Dieter Edmund leading the way now. 
Keep fit and golf. That's a hobbies. Adita. Whereas Sharon here likes a bit of reading and computer games. And we're pressing the button. And a lot of ladies play around the world at this sport. 60. Think you there's a few out there. I'm going to say, good turnout for the ladies. Needed trouble 17 for the ball there. 97. Sharon really struggling in this leg. Still needs 384. Dieter on 64. Think you require 64. Trouble 16. Well, that looks like 24, so double top. 44. Well, still plenty of time. As we can see, the score's there. 244. Still required for Sharon. 16. Think you require 20. Double 10. Double 5. Game shot. Ten a full play. Dieter Hedges. There you have it. Dieter trailing 2-0. Now it's back. Dieter it's 2-2. Sharon. Throw first. Game on. Sharon stepping right to the edge of the hockey. He's lost a 2-0 lead. Now into the final leg. 99. So still anyone's match. Sixty. I'm waiting for either of these players in the final is Stacy Bromberg, a Californian. That's an awkward first that may come down. Yeah, it's just masking that board. Ninety six. Managed a treble 19 and a single, that. Very direct with a throw is uh, Dieter. 16. Well, there's Stacey. Yeah, she's entitled to smile. Who's oh, she going to be playing here? A little wave to us. <laughs> you get on very well, does these ladies. Well, it's slipping away from Dieter. We've lost the world number one, Francis Honzela. 24. The way this leg's going, we could be losing the number two. I think everybody was expecting to see Dieter and Francis in the final. Certainly the bookies were. Flags are out. One hundred. Well, she needs a little Can bit more than that. Is this a finish? May she go for the twenty-five first. But she's got plenty of time on her hands. We'll see. Now I've gone for eighteen. So one hundred and seven. Trouble nineteen. Eighty-eight left. Could go for trouble twenty for double fourteen. A trouble sixteen. We'll see. Trouble 16 was the shot she went for. But still 257. Twenty-two. Sharon you 72. 72 points away from a place in the final is Sharon Colcliffe. There's a 12. Single 20. One dart. Double top. 52. Well, if a double 10, she'll be coming back for that double because Dieter having a terrible time here in this leg. 2 3 5. Sharon on double 10. 83. This could be it. Sharon, you require 20. 
Double ten for the match and a place in the final for Sharon Colcliffe. Double five, not the best double on the board. Yes. Shot and the match. Sharon Colcliffe. Well, there we are, the underdog in that match, Sharon Colcliffe. She's through to the final, a place against Stacey Bromberg. Ladies and gentlemen, another great advert for Lady Stars. As she leaves the stage, first of all, your appreciation, please, England's Tisa Edmund. And through to the world final, England, Sharon Colcliffe. So the final, it's England v America. Sharon Colcliffe, Stacey Bromberg. That should be a classic. The one and two seeds went out. Dita, the number two. Francis Onzala, number one. But I'm sure Sharon will be smiling as uh, Matt takes over from me. She certainly is smiling, Tony, and uh, a big beaming one as well. How do you feel after that? Oh, tremendous. Um, Dita is one of the best players in the world, and to beat her in the semi final is such a big event. Well, you, you had us all on, uh, on tenterhooks there because you certainly went the long way around that. You threw away a 2-0 lead and then managed to take it in the fifth. Mm, well, that just shows the character of Dita, really, to fight back, you know, from a death to two. I was just glad to get through. <laughs> Were you worried when um, it got back to two all at any stage? You didn't look it from where I was watching. Oh, yeah. If you'd have looked closely, the hands were going, the legs were going, stomach's churning, yeah. No, I think you didn't look quite fairly confident because we've got a camera behind the board there and it was uh, showing you looking fairly relaxed throughout, actually. Uh, no, it's just a cover. It was not relaxed. It's, uh, I always have hard games against Dieter. You're quite uh, wide on the hockey, uh, further over to the right than some of the other players. Is that sort of a personal thing with you? It is. It's just the way I stand. Um, I've tried moving in, but I don't throw as, as well. OK, well, we've got the final coming up uh, and it's an England-USA uh, final. What's your thoughts on that one? Um, I like to replay the Jersey Open. I played Stacey in the final there, and I just beat her then, so it should be good. Are you good friends off the hockey? Yes. Yeah, we are good. Yeah. OK, well, congratulations, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in the final. Well done again, and I think we're just going to have a word with Dita now, so thanks very much for the time being. Dita, do come in. <laughs> Commiserations, I suppose, but uh, I think we all thought you were going to get back into it there when you got back to two all. Well, I thought I was going to get back into it, and then I just started drifting a little bit, and just lost it at the end, really. Any particular reason for it today? So I was just trying too well, hard after not winning the toss today. anyway well, and um, well, she was throwing well anyway world. as well I just world thought just keep stuck in, one in the world just, from just lost you did, you did very well Burnett. to get back into it from 2-0 uh, oh, yeah. down I mean what were your thoughts when it went into 4-0 for all, I just thought the fifth leg just fight it out, and obviously the, the one who plays best hit the double. Because I missed some doubles well in those first legs. A of the England quarter, that was the I wasn't going to mention that. Ronnie <laughs> I know. There they are doing their thing over our top. Listen, tell me something that is interesting. As, um, I gather that the embassy is taking women for the first time this Dave year, Swindle. and you were in the qualifiers for that. You didn't quite make it, but it's a good thing for women's darts, wouldn't you say? It's okay, but I still prefer if we had one of our own, definitely, just running alongside the men. You'd rather have um, a, a your own ladies' running tournament? Running alongside the men, yeah, with the same prize money, or at least are. OK, well, now that's an interesting point of view. Yes. Hopefully, we'll uh, be able to advocate that live on the cameras. I think okay. we've just done it. <laughs> Dita, right. congratulations. Welcome, miserations, okay. really.